Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The arrest of a former Orange County Public Works executive who is accused of sexually battering a women who worked in his department uh, has the Orange County Board of Supervisors looking into the way they handle such reports of abuse. With us now is Orange County Supervisor Sean Nelson. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me again. Tell us about how these allegations came to light. Well, the allegations, oddly enough, didn't come to light as a complaint from one of the victims. It was an anonymous complaint from someone claiming to have witnessed uh, the incidents, just, we assume, just someone that worked in the department that saw it and felt something should be done about it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, at the county, by the time the supervisors learned of it and got an anonymous complaint, we, we later, almost six months after the fact, learned there had been a previous anonymous complaint and it's really how that was handled that's caused us to relook at how our agency deals with these issues and kind of revamping some of our systems to make sure we're really better at, at dealing with these issues and catching them earlier. Well, there's a lot of parts of this story, places right. to look for improvement. One of the first places is uh, in the original uh, investigation of the accusation, the person who conducted the interview, uh, the investigation, worked for the guy he was accused. It, reported to this person, so maybe that's a place to start. You know, uh, that, that's, a, that's a fair question. The problem is there is nobody in 2011, last year, that, that thinks that that's even an appropriate circumstance. I mean, that, that's just such a basic tenant of human resources. What we've realized is we needed to re-centralize the entire human resources function out of 24 some odd departments at the county, everything from animal control to flood control, the sheriff, et cetera. We realized having a centralized agency where the top really had a better feel for what was going on in these various departments made a lot more sense and certainly made our board feel a lot more comfortable. And okay, we've, so that sounds like a, a big redesign. How are you gonna huge. do this? Uh, well, it started with having a new human resources manager. Mm -hmm. the, the great fortune that we had was almost simultaneous with the original complaint, but unbeknownst to the board, uh, we had had an internal audit done of the entire human resources department and a lot of issues were pointed out that needed to be fixed. The, the gentleman that was the author and organizer of the internal audit is now the human resources manager. So really if anyone knew and understood the nuts and bolts of how to fix this agency, it was this person. He's really been working at this for more than a year anyways. And I think we're off to a good start, but it, it was needed, and I think we're going to produce a, a good product for our employees. And to uh, get a little more confidence in the way things are run. Um, on a completely different yes. <laughs> matter, um, the Tri-City Park. You're going to join together three parks, uh, three cities and uh, have a nice park out there. Well, we have a unique situation. Tri-City Park was built by the county about 40 years ago and has been run by three cities. Uh, not, not really sure how that came into being, but it's a, the only circumstance of its type in the county and in 2012 it wasn't a functional model uh, the cities have asked the county to take over and I expect that's what's going to happen here in a few months the good news is the county will be able to probably do some remodeling and the better news for the county is the park currently has about five hundred thousand dollars in cash just needed uh, sort of one party to step in and really organize the effort to remodel the park and, and hopefully the citizens will get some benefit of their tax dollars being spent in North County for a change for parks. Okay, so while we're on the sub subject of kids in parks, go ahead and plug your park day. There's a Nelson. All right, park well, we have a, 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 a sports day. This will be our third year doing it at Craig Park. It's uh, right on the border of Fullerton, Bray, and Placentia as well, mm -hmm. very close to Tri Cities. But uh, we're going to be doing that in October, all sorts of activities. It's free for families really for children to come out and learn about a variety of different sports, people from the Angels, Hope University, some high school football teams, we've got racquetball pros, and just wanna let kids try some things out. Okay, sounds great, thanks for being here. Thank you very and much. Thanks for joining us, I'm Leslie Layton.